So we're in exercise 9G and we're now going to be answering question 4. An experiment consists of drawing a number at random from, and then we have the set 1, 2, 3, all the way to 12. Let A equal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, B be 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and C be 4, 6, 8, 9. We're then asked to find whether A and B are independent, A and C are independent, and B and C are independent. Before we delve into these, let's begin by writing down the probability of getting A. So the probability of A. Well, as you can see here, I have six elements within my set, and that's out of a total amount of my sample space, rather. My sample space is 12. Six on 12, a better way to write that is going to be one on two. Next, we're going to figure out my probability of B. B again has one, two, three, four, five, six elements in it. And again, my sample space is 12. Six out of 12 is a half. Lastly, we need to figure out my probability of C. C has one, two, three, four elements in it out of a total of 12. A better way to write this instead of four on 12 will be one on three, one on three. Now that we have these, it's going to make it a bit easier when we're answering these questions. So the probability that A and B are independent, well, we know the formula that we have to utilize in order to answer this. It's going to be the probability of A intersection of B equals the probability of A times the probability of B. Uh, we know what the probability of A is. It's one half. We know what the probability of B is. It's one half. We now need to figure out what the probability of A intersection of B is. So we're going to look at the places where they intersect. So I have one here. I have one here. That's one intersection point. I have three here. I have three here. We have two intersection points. And we have five here. And we have five here as well. And that's it. So there are three places within A and B in which I get an intersection. So it's going to be three out of 12. Uh, a better way to write three out of 12 is going to be one over four. And one half times one half is one over four. So what you can see here is what one over four equals one over four. So my answer to 4a is going to be a big yes. They are independent. Let's now move on to 4b. 4b is asking me to find whether a and c are independent. So again, I'm going to write my formula. Oh, that's a bit too thick. The probability of a intersection with c equals the probability of a times the probability of C. We know what the probability of A is. It's one half. We know what the probability of C is. It is one third. So now we need to figure out what the probability of the intersection of A and C is. So I'm going to come here. I'll rub all this out. So I'm dealing with A and C. So I have a four here and a four here. I have a six here and a six here. So I have two points in common. So that is two points out of a total of 12 of my sample space. Two over 12, a better way to write that is one over six. And one half times one third is one over six. So once again, these equal each other. So yes, they are independent. So I'm gonna give it a big fat yes again. I want a thick yes. Yes. There we go. Let's now move on to part C, which is asking us, let me scroll the way over here. We are now have to find whether B and C are independent. So again, we begin by writing out our formula. The probability of B intersection with C should be equal to the probability of B times the probability of C. So if it is independent, this should be true. What is my probability of B? Well, it's going to be one half. 
what is my probability of C? It's going to be one third, one third. So now we need to figure out what my intersection of B and C is. So I'm going to have to scroll across. Let me rub out all of this. So I'm dealing with B and C. One, three, five, seven. They do share a nine. So they only have one in common, nine. So that means I have one place, one element which they share in common and my sample space is 12. So now when I'm solving this, I'm going to get one over 12 equals one half times one third will be one over six. One twelve does not equal one over sixth. So my answer is going to be no, they are not independent. So your answers should be yes, yes, no for four, for question four of exercise 9G.